this was eye-opening to me. Okay, so Andy Vallelli from Spread Happy is here this morning to talk to us because I was shocked at how different Roby and I each reacted yeah. to this storm, you know, and, and, and it may be coming to South Florida. Okay, so me, I threw hurricane parties and made seven layer dip from ingredients that I bought at 7-Eleven. I um, grew a beard. <laughs> and did not even bring in my patio furniture because I spent years in the news and know that like 24 to 48 hours out, if they say it's going to turn, it's going to turn. Yes. So I was pretty confident that I didn't need to even bring in my patio furniture. I don't furniture. have that much trust. If they tell me it's going to turn, I'm going to wait for it to turn. So Roby was... a. Uh, was a buzzkill all last Friday because all he did was talk about how how we were going to get hit by the storm and how his house was going to be underwater and how he's in a flood zone and like literally created this whole story in his head about what was going to happen and I feel like I didn't I, create the story the meteorologist created the story okay so Andy why is it that we were in the exact same situation yes. but reacted so differently because to it? one is an adult and the other one's in denial. <laughs> to make himself crazy and the other one is much more calm but it's so interesting because we were talking about this i spoke to you about it because i actually didn't come to the show last week because i was thinking oh my goodness i got to get my parents out of here you know how can we all be safe this kind of thing but it's so interesting because nothing actually happened so you were suffering but there was actually nothing to really suffer about. So here's. But it could have been. It could have been. How? So everything could have been. How? Well, but you've got to prepare. <laughs> well, here's the thing: you can prepare from a calm space because at the moment we're just experiencing anticipation. We're experiencing our thinking. We're always living in the feeling of our thinking in the moment, 100% of the time. And if your thinking is very crazy, you're going to feel very crazy. You're going to act very crazy. So whatever you're going to do is going to be from this very panicked state. But when you see, wait a second, I can go through this, I can be prepared, I can take care of things from a calm state. Because at the moment, even though we were preparing, nothing was actually happening. So how does Roby flip that script in I his brain? I felt like I was calm. I was just, what? you know, there were five houses oh. that I had to put together. <laughs> they are all backing me up right now. I, I, what did I, I mean, I stated the obvious. You know, the, the forecast was a 20-foot storm surge. Most houses would be underwater and 20 foot along the coast. Look at the Bahamas. So here's the thing. Life happens, right? It's right. So I prepared. Happen. It's going to happen, but you don't have to prepare in a panic. I right? wasn't panicked. Oh, that's not the word on the street, Roby. So here's the, like, it's, I need to videotape him next time. I know, right? But it's so interesting because where our thinking takes us and then we live from that space. So we can either go through something recognizing that we're having a lot of thinking about this, but we don't have to... Basically, here's what we talked about. You don't have to get on crazy train, get off, and set up camp. You can get on crazy train, see where you're going, and then get yourself back to the station. It's momentary. But if we decide to live there... Okay, okay, fine, okay. fine. But what if you get on denial train and the storm does hit? Okay, then you're up shit's Creek. <laughs> Absolutely. I didn't say not to prepare, right? I didn't say not to prepare, but it's like, where am I going with this? Am I setting up camp in crazy town or am I going through crazy town? Okay. I'm a little nervous. Is crazy prepare. town what at 20 there? foot sea level? <laughs> <laughs> because I want to go there during a storm. There's no hope. I feel like we need therapy every week <laughs> with Roby. We're going to have to do this after the show. Yeah. However, here's the thing is you were suffering, but we never actually suffered. So just, just right. take a look at that. Right. Oh my God. That's life changing. Did you hear that, Roby? You were suffering, but you never actually suffered. Oh, I you, suffered. You suffered in your mind. Head. In your head. <laughs> you in your right. Because that's how we experience everything. Okay. I'm going to read your text messages that Steph just lovely. Uh. I need to sell my house. I can't handle storm surge if this is the result of tropical storm conditions. Is the water in your house? I know a realtor in your area if you need one. <laughs> Wish me luck. I'm dying my beard, so <laughs> I'm not going to read the rest. I did. I dyed my beard. I was so bored. That, that was the first thing I noticed when I saw it. Okay. No one, no normal person says, I need to sell my house because... Do you see where all this panic was coming from? I mean, it's logical to me. <laughs> right. However, okay. it was literally like, every, here's the deal. We all experience this, yeah. but we experience it differently based on our thinking yeah. because we're always living in thought in the moment. So life is going to happen, but how we actually go through that, that's up to us. 
Yeah. That's up to us. Amen. Amen, sister. 